It's currently the next day. Um, didn't really finish yesterday's video because when we got to the hotel and obviously all that going around and around in the opposite direction, um, didn't finish it. We just came to bed. Not for 30 minutes, but I wound up being for like two hours and we went to Target, bought some stuff. And that's it, but this is day two here in uh, Kissimmee, Florida, Orlando area. Today, I don't really know what we're doing, but we're gonna go and do something for sure today. So let's go, we're just getting ready. First stop after breakfast. John's about to go Boy, swim with alive. the, John's about to go swim with the crocodiles right now. With the gators. The gators, oh my gosh. <laughs> this looks so crazy. What to expect, we don't know. But so it looks like gators or alligators or crocodiles or I'm gonna come out of nowhere under these cars somewhere. Who knows? <laughs> Don't play with little gators. Oh, I don't know. Probably eat them. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Nope, I'm not doing that either. Oh, no, thank you. A serious moment, we're about to go out with the alligators. We're gonna get on this boat. Oh, she's coming up. I'm going up, she's calling her name. They're hiding under there. Or here. Oh man, moment of truth. We're walking down. And all the way down there. There's cows at least. He's fake. He's fake. Oh. He's real. Oh my god. <laughs> Creeped out. Those birds stand close to 30 inches high, have a wingspan five to six feet. They can see prey up to two miles away. Takes them five years to get a white head. When they mate, they mate for life. They'll keep using the same nest year after year. They have a camera on one over at Cape Canaveral. They estimate that nest to weigh 1,200 pounds and has six to eight dog and cat collars in it. <laughs> we have about 22 nesting pairs here locally. We have the third highest population of eagles in the country behind Alaska and Minnesota. We also have the third highest population of beef cats. They can have as little as 20, upwards near of 120. Wow. Less than 10% will survive due to predators. Those big gray birds we've been going by are called the great blue heron. That is their number one predator when they first hatch out.
Two crocodiles couldn't really see it. Oh, gator, sorry. Out. Um, but you can't see it on camera. Yeah. Um, but we're gonna see little small baby ones. But, oh, that was so much fun. My feet, I just still feel the wind like. But my ears are kind of like. I feel like the wind just cleaned my ears. <laughs> it's so, oh man. Is this right way? Yeah. Now we get to see the little other alligator that's here. Nah, boy. About to get them chompers on you. Oh my gosh, you about to get to the bird. Hold on a second. Hold on. Oh no. That I need to do. We're trying to get close to him. Are you going with us? Look at this beast. Hey, primo, come on, Tommy. We good or no? Hey, bro, he about to get you. Ooh, ooh, he barking. Ooh, chill, I'm out. John, let's go. Okay, here we go. Gator feeding. Three o'clock. Two minutes. Let's go. Tail muscle, they compel themselves two thirds of their own body length out of the water. Two thirds? Oh my god. They also use their tail muscle um, to swim. They can reach speeds of almost 30 miles an hour in the water. Now, although they do have very large webbed feet, they actually don't use those feet for swimming. They use their big web feet to help them walk in very uh, swampy, muddy soils. Oh, damn. If you were trying to do that, we would sink right into the mud. Oh, dang. Oh, dang, you dead. You're, you're dead. <laughs> So if you were able to get a close look inside of his mouth, you'll notice there's a lot of teeth in there. I think that's gonna be it for the Gator, whatever this place is called, Gator World, Flor Wild Florida. It's a wrap. Tomorrow's another day. <laughs> this is a cute little guy. <laughs> <laughs>